Have you ever seen videos like this with subtitles that are animated and moving that keep you engaged in the video? Unfortunately, those types of videos take hours to make. Is what I would say if I was lying. You can now create videos with animated subtitles like this in just a few clicks and in just a few minutes using automatic subtitlers with animation effects and online tools. And this is super important because subtitling is an essential part of video production these days for both long form and short form video. It not only makes the video more accessible to a wider audience, but also allows people to watch the video and understand without having their volume on and makes it more engaging and comprehensive. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to automatically add subtitles in just a few clicks and add animations and any customizations that you might need using a powerful online video editor called Kapwing. And there's no animation or video editing experience required to make these subtitles. So click the first link in the description to follow along and let's add some subtitles to your videos and take them to the next level. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is click the first link in the description. It'll take you to Kapwing's add subtitles to video page. And as you can see, it shows you how you can automatically add subtitles, add animations and things like that on this little image here so if you want to do that you can just go ahead and click choose a video and then go ahead and upload your video I'm gonna go ahead and upload this video in here okay and now we're just gonna wait for the video to process and upload you can move over to this tab to see how your upload is doing I'm at around 90% okay now it's done uploading so you can go back to the subtitles tab on the left here and now you're able to choose either auto subtitles if you'd like to automatically transcribe your video. With this, you can make any manual edits you want after the fact. So this is what I'd recommend because you can still customize to your liking after automatically subtitling. You'll probably just save a ton of time getting the transcription automatically subtitled at first. You can still use the manual subtitler, but I really prefer auto subtitles. So we're going to click that. Then you're able to click what the original language is in. And if you'd like to translate the video into another language, you're able to do that here. So your subtitles will be in a different language. I am not going to do that. So I'm just gonna keep it no translation and click auto subtitle and then they will generate. Okay, now they're automatically subtitled and you can click play. You can see that there are subtitles on the video and there are animations that go by with every single word that I say. And your transcript will be on the left here. You are able to go into any of these subtitles and change any of the words and that will change directly in the subtitle as well. So if I write hello, you can see that now there is hello in there. Now if everything's perfect and just to your liking, you're able to just click export project, but I'm gonna show you guys some of the customizations that you might wanna use. So firstly, I don't think there are enough words on these subtitle blocks. They're a little too fast for me and I think the words are a little too big. So what I'm gonna do is go over to the left here under the subtitles tab, and this is the characters per subtitle slider. And if I move this to the right, you will see that I'll add more characters, aka more words per subtitle. And so the subtitles will get much longer. So now there are more words on each subtitle. Now I'm going to change the size. So I'll come over to the right here under the edit tab. And if you don't see that, just make sure that you're highlighting the subtitles. And then I'll change the font size to be lower. If you do want to manually split subtitles though, it's as easy as going into the transcript, find where you want to split and just click the return button on your keyboard. And now they are split into two different subtitles as you can see here. So that's what the return button does is it splits words into different subtitles. However, if you want it to still be on the same subtitle, but just on a different line, you can click on a subtitle, put your cursor in between some words and then click like shift and return or shift and enter and that keeps it within the same subtitle but on a separate line so as you can see I clicked shift return in between because and subtitling and now those are on different lines I'll do it again over here so in between discussing how I'll click shift and return and now they're on two separate lines within the same subtitle so it doesn't change any of the timing it just changes where the words are placed on different lines. If you want to merge subtitles that were previously separate automatically, what you're able to do is just go into the subtitle, put your mouse in front of the first word and click the delete button. And now these two subtitles are merged into one. If you want to add a new subtitle, in between two different subtitles, you're able to do so as well. Maybe you want to add context to something that wasn't said out loud, or maybe the transcription just missed it. What you can do is go in between the two subtitles. So I'm gonna go in between these two subtitles here and click the add button when hovering between the two. And now you can see it just added a new subtitle where I can write whatever I want, sarcasm. And now maybe you can show people that you are being sarcastic 
in something or that there's some context that you want to add that isn't being said in the video. To change the length of the subtitle, it's also super easy. All you have to do is move your cursor down in the timeline, then go over to the subtitle that you want to elongate or shorten, and then hover below the timestamps and click set to current time. So right now my seeker is placed after the end time that is indicated here. I'll go to the end of the clip and click set to current time, and now it's elongated to be at this point. And if I want this subtitle to appear earlier, all I have to do is place my seeker before this first subtitle here, hover over the beginning timestamp, and then click set to current time, and now it is elongated in the front. Now, if you just want to download the transcript and you don't want the subtitles on the video or you want both the downloaded transcript and the subtitles on the video, you can go over to the left here and click this download button. And then you can download this transcript as an SRT file, VTT file, or a TXT file. So then you can upload that file wherever you may need a subtitle file. So now I think that's about all in terms of the transcript changing the timing, adding new subtitles, and merging subtitles into one. Now I'm going to show you guys all the different things you can do with text styles and animations. So like I showed you, you can of course come to the right side here under the edit tab and change the size here. You can also change the font and you can use any of these fonts that Kapwing has, but you can also add your own fonts if you are a Kapwing Pro user. You can change the color, you can add background, opacity, and all of that. Something else I want to share too is that you can do inline styling. Inline styling means that all of your subtitles still look the same, so they still have that sort of preset style, but then within a single line or a few words within one line of text, they will be different from the rest of the subtitle. So in order to do that, what I can do is I can go into the transcript on the left here and highlight the words. So I'll highlight accessible to a wider, and then now you can see that you're able to change some of the styles. So you can make it italic, you can make it underlined, and you could change the color, for example. So now your subtitles still look normal, except for the word or the few words or the sentence or whatever you want that you have changed with inline styling. I also wanna share some information about text styles and presets and how you can create these for your own brand kit. So if you click on the subtitles and then you go up to the edit tab, you can see that there is a text styles subheader. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is click the view all button and it'll show you all of the different text styles that you can use. These are presets that you can use um, and just click and it's gonna change the subtitle preset super easily, like so. And this is super great because it makes styling subtitles super consistent and super fast. So if you are a brand and you want all of your videos to look the same, you can create your own text style. So all you're gonna do is just customize how you want your subtitles to look. So, you know, change any fonts that you may want. I'll change the font to this, I'll add italics and underlines, and I'll make the text this sort of peachy. Now, when I go over here into text styles, click view all again, you can see that your custom style is right here under my styles. And if you want to save this style, so you're able to quickly add this style to any videos in the future, you're able to just drag this up into the brand kit up here. And now it is living under your brand kit styles. And you get this message that says your subtitle style is now accessible to everyone on your team. So if you do have a Kapwing Pro Teams plan, everyone can see this and quickly create the same subtitles with the same style in just one click. So it's easy to make your content super consistent no matter who is working on it. So now when you go back, that will live under your text styles right here. So if you're making a new video with subtitles, all you have to do is go up here, find your style, click it, and then it'll change your subtitles to look like this. But the most important thing I'm gonna show you guys today is actually the animations tab. So click the animations tab here. And now there are a bunch of different animation presets that you can use. So firstly, right now what we have is the color animation, which is that word by word, the subtitles will light up as I say them. But there's also the reveal option, which subtitles will reveal as I say them. I definitely really like this one and I think it's really engaging, kind of keeps people on the edge of their seat about what you're gonna say next. You can also use the highlight option, which is similar to color, but adds a uh, colored background around the word that's being said. Then there is the bounce option where your subtitle word will literally bounce every time you say a word. You can use paint where each word that you say will turn a new color and the rest will stay that color as well. And finally, you can use custom where you can change the color of the text, what the color of the highlighted word is. You can add bounce and you can change all of this 
color, bounce, and highlight color for active and unspoken words. So you can really change your subtitle to be exactly how you want it to look. I'm just gonna add reveal for this video. You can also move to the transitions tab on the right here, and you can add transitions like fade, flip, or pop. The nice thing about the Magic Subtitler is that if you go and edit any of the clip, which you can do because Kapwing is a full video editor, you can edit entire videos, not just subtitle videos on Kapwing. If I go ahead and delete that, you can see the subtitle will disappear on top of it, and I can move down this layer here and the subtitles will all follow because they are exactly linked to the actual audio of the video. So if any video or audio changes are made in editing, the subtitles will reflect that automatically. So those are all the basics of subtitling. Now you can go ahead and click the export project button when you're done, export in whatever resolution or file type you would like, and then just click export. Okay, so now the video is ready to go and you can see it has the animations, also the fade transitions are working as intended. And now all you have to do is click the download file button once it's processed and you're happy with it and you can post this video wherever you like. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to join an online community of modern creators and to keep up with other tips and tutorials like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.